I'm going to preface this video by saying that I have every single right not to make this video. I'm very tired. I've just came from work. I'm overworked. We are moving in a couple of months. <laughs> I'm broken essentially, though I have a responsibility. This entire channel is my responsibility. And I have the mentality that if this channel fails, then I'm failing with it. And again, it's Saturday. I am not partying with friends. I am here sitting alone in my room like an idiot making videos because I have faith. I believe that one day is one day and one day I will be successful on this platform and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And if it means making videos until 1am in the morning, then sure, let it be. This channel is your responsibility. I mean, it's late at night. The lighting is probably terrible. I only have my desk lamp. But I'm using it and it's good enough to make a video. Never find excuses not to make a video. Because if you give in to excuses, then everything will become an excuse. The smallest of things will be an excuse not to make a video. And something else that I want to say is don't tell me that you don't have the talent to make it on this platform. All right? I'm not a phenomenal piano player. But I still want to make piano covers and I've made more than 300 piano covers. It, it didn't give me anything. I did not profit from making that. But you need to have faith. You need to believe that one day is one day and one day you will be successful. I am not a good speaker. I'm not a good English speaker. English is not my native language though I'm eager to learn the language and I'm willing to do what it takes. You have to be willing to learn. So what am I saying? Talent is a myth, all right? If you can say that you don't have talent, then you have what it takes. If there are words coming out of your mouth, then you have what it takes to make it on this platform and you have what it takes to make it big time. You don't even have to speak. Mick Burzma, he's one of the most successful channels on this platform and he physically does not have the ability to speak. How much more people like you and me, we can speak. I know this may sound stupid, but he can speak and he's successful. Are you seeing what I'm trying to say? Anyway, these are some of my favorite tips from my favorite YouTubers. Enjoy. To succeed, you need views. Focus on views. What makes your videos get views? Go to your most popular videos and figure out on your channel what makes people click, what makes people watch. Welcome to YouTube. Do you know how this game works? You create videos and you try to get them viewed as many times as possible. That's it. That is the start and finish of YouTube. Doesn't matter how big or small of a creator you are. Doesn't matter whether you're a full-time YouTuber, part-time, or just doing this for fun. Every single person that puts time and effort into their videos wants their videos to be seen by people. Don't procrastinate. You are going to feel miserable if you don't do the things that you know you are supposed to do. I don't want to say that I'm naive because I'm definitely not. I know what needs to be done. I just don't do it. Use clickbait without having to lie. All right, clickbait works. That's just the reality. But use clickbait without lying. Make your thumbnail and your title as elusive, as intriguing as possible without the need to lie. I mean, your video is interesting, right? But what I have noticed and what I have increasingly noticed here on YouTube is the channels that clickbait their content, however, have exceptional content behind their edgy title or their blatant clickbait title to back it up, do fare much better in this community. This platform is vast. It's massive. The competition is so strong. So there are so many people with the same goal as you and me. Ask yourself, are you giving people a reason to watch your video? Are you enjoying your own video? Why should people watch your video and not his? You know, as you know, there's over 400 hours of video being uploaded to YouTube every minute. So that's, uh, I think like 72 uh, days worth of content per day. Watch time is extremely important to YouTube. So make sure your video is as long as possible without the need to milk the contents of that video. So increase the content, all right? Don't just increase the video length, but the content as well, so that you keep the viewer engaged. Uh, we had this one change recently that 
um, significantly increased watch time across YouTube. It actually, um, if we would have rolled out this change, people would have watched millions more hours every day mm. on YouTube. So you might think, well, obviously that's one of the good ones. Let's let's roll that one out. Remember in the beginning, I told you guys that your channel is your responsibility and you need to treat it as your property. Well, take a look at this. The reason this YouTube channel is a sinking ship or dead in the water is my own doing 100%. I'm owning that. I'm taking responsibility for that. And I'm now going to change that. It's going to take an extremely long time to make YouTube your place for a lucrative salary so let's take a look at Adrian all right so he is clearly a successful youtuber because he has 200 he has almost 200,000 subscribers all right I can only wish for that amount of subscribers all right and he makes a successful youtuber he makes eight dollars a day which which is obviously not very lucrative so he still has a very long road ahead of him and we think of him already as successful so what am i trying to say it's going to take very long and i want you to focus on the journey don't focus on the destination because then it's not going to be fun at the end of the day youtube is all about having fun that's not the case. You know what? I averaged out how much I've made over the past four years. I averaged it out. It worked out to be about seven or eight dollars per day. So you guys can work that out for yourselves. But have have a think about that. Just have a think about that. Getting home from work and then plugging into a computer for six, seven hours straight after work, five nights a week, editing videos for seven to eight dollars. Not seven or eight dollars per hour, seven to eight dollars per day. That sucks. I quickly want to talk about equipment. Remember I say talent, it's something you have, even though you think you don't, it's the same with equipment. This camera I'm using to shoot myself right now. On YouTube vlogging standards, this is not a good camera. But the fact that I don't have a good vlogging camera is not going to stop me from creating content. The fact that I don't have the ideal vlogging camera is not going to stop me or you from pursuing your dream and creating videos. They bought all this expensive equipment and they, they they come to me like, where are the subscribers? Where are all the views? I've got, I spent all this money on all this equipment. I always say, don't spend money on equipment. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. Everybody is going to tell you that you need to be unique. Make videos that the world has never seen before. This is not good advice. Make videos that you actually can make. For example, I have a piano. I can make piano covers. I have a gaming computer. I can make gaming videos. I have a good quality microphone. I can make voiceover videos. I have an exponential love for health and fitness. So I can make fitness videos. And this is just me. I'm sure you have your own examples. Me, when I started making videos, I did what everyone else was doing. I, I, I did Call of Duty videos because that's what was uh, popular at the time. But that's what made me want to start making YouTube videos because I love watching it on YouTube. And Another thing I want to tell you guys is that your videos are probably going to be horrendous. I mean, I sometimes still think that my videos that I put out are absolutely crap. Like, this is probably like my 320th video and I still think I don't even know how to make videos. But guys, don't be discouraged. Your first video or first 300 videos is going to be terrible, but that's fine because we learn by doing and besides that that's the best way to learn is by doing and the best way to learn is by failing. I promise you the most successful creators on this platform they have failed. They also made horrendous videos in their past. I can promise you that. Now, one of the biggest problems here is that not everything you create at the beginning is going to be good. So sometimes you're going to stream when you're bored and people are not going to want to watch. Sometimes you're going to make a video and it's not very good or take a picture that's not very interesting or tweet something that's not good. You'll learn what to do by learning what not to do. You'll end up on live stream fails. You'll end up with people angry at you. It's, it's part of the process. It still happens to me every day. It happens to large creators as well. Uh, just know that's part of the process. Don't be discouraged. Now, a common discouragement for new creators like you and me is the question, is it too late to start YouTube? Is, is the platform too old? Is there a new platform? Is there going to be a new dominant platform like Snapchat, IGTV, you know, things like that. Is it 
too late to start YouTube. Well, I have news for you. YouTube is very healthy. It is still the dominant video platform and it is never too late. And now is a better time than ever to start creating content. They're watching content, they're consuming content, and YouTube really couldn't be healthier. You know, YouTube has 1.5 billion logged in monthly users watching over an hour of mobile content per day. There is so many people on this platform, one third of the internet, right? And just think about it. Like, you might think, oh, the YouTube's crowded. Do you know how much 1.5 billion people is? If you get a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of 1%, you can build a full-time income around your passion. And then last but not least, well, most certainly not least, it's actually the most important, but um, people should be attracted to, you, to your personality. They should like you as a person. The most successful people on this platform is because of their personality, yeah? People like them as a person. So this is very, very important. You need to come open in your channel show your face for the longest time I think it was about I think I made like almost 200 videos <laughs> before I've shown my face and I think that was a big mistake because your personality is the reason why people will be coming back because they like you as a person and I can speak from experience and I can also speak from the people I watch I like their content because I like them as a person I like their personality for example one of my favorite channels his community absolutely loves him because of him his personality that's why his community keeps on coming back because of him not necessarily the topic or his content you know what i'm saying you need a personality people people will find your video but they're they're not going to stay unless they care about you as a person i think youtube is all about personality at least that's how i see it and and anyone i watch on youtube i watch because i care about their personality i care about them more than just their content but also who they are as a person and uh, that's why I enjoy watching them. And that's why I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy it because it's different than television. You're not just watching this uh, product behind uh, a bunch of producers and writers. You, you're watching just a person speak directly into a camera. And I think that's the beauty of it. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These were some of my favorite tips and tricks. And I hope you can benefit from them. It's like past midnight. And, and I'm sorry if the lightning is still terrible. Even if it means making videos at midnight. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Brothers, sisters, keep on running. Fathers, mothers, keep on loving. Fighters, soldiers, hold your weapons and leave.